Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. I hope you had a very good weekend with this uh, live streaming of the Bitcoin conference in Miami, Bitcoin 2021. This was a great conference. Well, if you count out all those uh, awkward moments with the Doge um, crazy guy there screaming on the stage <laughs> and Jack Dorsey being censored by someone uh, in the audience but that apart it was a good conference overall i guess i i really enjoyed the the talk between michael saylor and max kaiser and i also enjoyed the last um uh, announcement about el salvador becoming the first country to have bitcoin as legal tender so all great news nice weekend i was watching the live stream i also streamed restreamed live with comments uh the first day of the conference so if you'd like to check that you can just go to my youtube channel and you'll find it there um as a restream so the title is uh, the name of the video is exactly a stream of bitcoin conference day one and you can watch it it's the complete stream of the first day so that apart let's go directly to the charts and i would like um let me check here everything is good so let's go to screen share i will try to have a short video today so let's see if we can do it so let's start with the price to time model as you guys can see here we are still on top of the 2017 cycle uh, so we are not below, we are not above, we are exactly, this is exactly the line of this week. We are on that line crossing here with the price action at the current moment. So we are exactly on top of the 2017 cycle. And let's see how this evolves for the price to time model. As you guys know, the best uh, price action to be on track with the model is to be in between the yellow um the yellow cycle which corresponds to the 2017 cycle and the threshold line here the orange line inside the rectangle so let's see how this evolves nothing else to say about the price to time model we are still waiting regarding the rsi on the weekly we have been going sideways since the we we were going up at the beginning of the last week but then we continued to accumulate and so the rsi started to go sideways and we are now not closer to the orange dashed line, which is the RSI level of the price action after the 75% correction of 2013 mid cycle. So regarding the price to time model, nothing new to say. We are still waiting for developments on the price action and we have to wait. So let's go to the MRI charts. And here we are on the weekly. We are now starting to go a bit down because this was already green when I started to record the video. However, we turned now red. But the good news for the week is that this week is an MRI bottom. I would much more prefer the MRI bottom to be on this candle here or that candle and that we would start to build a green nice candle to the upside from this number eight. However, we had to wait for the nine to have an MRI bottom. So for the weekly, we are now having a one of nine green count and the MRI bottom is here. So we hope at least even not being the perfect candle, which should be in my opinion, this one, the number seven red, but not even not being the perfect candle, I believe that this could be the indication of a reversal on the price action if the accumulation continues and we are able to break the triangle that you will see in the next few charts. So for the weekly chart, that's it. That's what we have. The RSI continues to go sideways, completely sideways for a long time already. The MACD continues bearish, but you guys can see that now the bar is almost at the same level as the previous bar, indicating again that the bearish momentum is ending. So that's good news from the weekly chart. However, uh, not so many good news, but at least the MRI bottom here, the RSI not going down, but going sideways and the MACD showing that the bars are not increasing in size to the downside. If you get all that together, it's kind of good news that uh, at least we are not dropping back down again to lower levels. So let's check the daily. 
and on the daily we have this triangle that we have been trying to get out of to having a breakout to the upside hopefully uh, I maintain my probabilities of an 80% probability going to the upside 20% to the downside but those 20% to the downside has to be together with the fact that we will see new lows so if this continues to accumulate and the price action just continues to be below the triangle but accumulating i will not consider that those 20 percent i will only consider the 20 percent if we go to new lows below the 29700 at least which we had here around this level 29600 so I give it 20% probabilities that we could see new lows below the 29,600 or 80% that we break out this triangle to the upside and we start to reverse the price action at least uh, until we find new resistance, which you guys know already. We have resistance around the 200 uh, day SMA and we will have resistance around the 48 to 50,000 again around this level here that was support previously. So that's the daily. The RSI is also going sideways. The MACD continues on the green, but the lines are just going parallel. So this is not a very uh, strong impulse to the upside. However, the fact that the MACD on the daily continues to have the blue line above the orange and the bars are green, it's not a bad indication at all. We just have to wait for this move to develop and probably we will be close to that as soon as we get to the tip of this triangle here. So let's see the four hour. And on the four hour, let's see, it's still loading the MRI. So we are now below the triangle again. We had a bit of a retracement uh, just in the last hour but I believe that we can still continue to the tip of the triangle before a move is um, in order. So let's see how this develops. We have to wait. There are no technicals at the moment for you to take any actions. We really have to wait to see if the 20% will confirm and we will see lower levels around the 27, 28,000 probably, or if we go for the 80% probabilities of breaking this triangle to the upside. So there's nothing Really, there's nothing you can do right now except waiting for the developments to occur. And this is just accumulation. So there are no technicals. Nothing is confirmed yet of what could happen. So we have to wait for the technicals and confirmations. So on the four hour, we have the RSI just going a bit uh, down because of this uh, small retracement we had in the last hour but the MACD continues to go sideways here on the four hours so it's not bearish or bullish it's just going sideways the lines are just on top of each other together and the bitmax funding rate for the last uh, funding rate for the last uh, four hours has been negative we can confirm that on the one hour just to make sure actually not we have been having almost zero neutral funding rate and the premium is negative so uh, in this case there is no movement on 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 bitmax uh, regarding leverage trading so i guess everyone is just waiting on the sidelines to see how this develops too okay now we will see the pro indicators chart and here is the same triangle so we have been accumulating as you guys know already this has been a long time already just let me check here uh, about two weeks that we have been inside this triangle and there is no indications whatsoever as far as we are currently watching the charts what of what what the price could do from here on so we really have to wait and see if this will break to the downside however we have the trend channel here giving us support so the green zigzag line is giving us support around this level and that level is the 34 and 900 and we also have a bit of resistance here at the 39 250 so we have to wait for the developments and see what happens when the price action gets to the tip of the triangle and probably I give it a bit more chances of going to the upside than going to the uh, lower um, levels below the triangle. So let's see what happens. This is Bitcoin today. There is nothing else I can say. We have to wait, as I said before, we have to wait for the technicals, we have to wait for the confirmations and until then there's nothing we can do just waiting to see what happens 
So let's take a look at the dollar. The dollar is also on an MRI bottom and this is what I don't like because the dollar being on an MRI bottom indicates that we could have a reversal of the price action to the upside which could hurt a bit the price action on Bitcoin but it's still a red candle and it's possible that the dollar could, uh, would not respect the MRI bottom and continues to the downside. I will extend this support rectangle here a bit to the right side and I will continue waiting for the moment where the dollar will break completely the support and go below the 89 on the Dixie and that will be a very happy day because finally after so many weeks of wait we could see probably, uh, probably we, could, we could see the dollar breaking the support at 89 and going below it. So there's nothing else to say about the dollar two, except this is an MRI bottom for this week. So it's the first uh, count, uh, the number green, the green one on the one to nine count. So let's see what happens. And if this week actually reverses the price of the dollar to the upside, or if the dollar will not respect the MRI bottom and continues to go to the downside, probably for some more time finding support here in this rectangle, but let's see how this evolves. So gold has been going down, but today we have seen a bit of a reversal on the price action so it's possible that this MRI top for for gold will um, just be one not one to four uh, candle correction but just one candle correction which is what happened here we have only one red candle after the MRI top and now we are seeing again gold reversing the price action and fighting to keep this level so it's possible that gold also could continue to the upside after just one candle correction uh, so let's see how this evolves too I don't see a lot of strength in gold right now, but it's possible that because of um, all the inflation coming to the dollar and the price action on Bitcoin also being so, um, you know, just going sideways and accumulating, it's possible that some liquidity is passing on to gold and probably gold could uh, sustain this level for some more time. I'm not going to check the S&P 500 because it's just not doing anything. It's very, very close to have an all-time high again, but it's it's a big resistance there. So this is the resistance that we found when the MRI top was found here a few weeks ago, and the price action continues to retrace and go up, just accumulating again, going sideways for the last few weeks and not being able to establish a new all-time high. So. Also, the S&P 500 is completely stopped doing nothing. So there's nothing to talk about. And finally, uh, the last chart, which I usually use just to check the daily MACD. The daily MACD continues to point up. This is a good indication. As, as I said before in the last uh, few videos, we have been having this uh, really extended MACD to the downside. This is an historical low of negative 5100 but luckily the MACD has turned back up again it's above the orange line the bars continue to form here on the green and the indication is good at least for the daily and also my analysis for bear or bull markets which started by uh, just you know me not agreeing with semantics uh, from um, Benjamin Cohen saying that we were on a short-term bear market and I'm just using this chart also with those two movements of the bull market to show that we are still on the bull market until we have a possibility to, to plot a big trend line to the downside which is not possible yet because we don't have this trend and in my opinion you guys know already that a bull market or a bear market only exists if we have an extended period of time of a trend so in this case we don't the trend continues to be up there's no possibility to plot a line going to the downside yet so in my opinion we are still on the bull market and that's where we are until we have some news for this triangle that you guys have seen already so that's it for today let me stop the screen share go back to the main screen and uh, hope you guys uh, have patience this is the keyword for now for these uh, last few days and probably the next uh, one two or three days during this week until we finally have some kind of move until we finally have some kind of technicals that can tell us something but so far nothing is happening just accumulation we are 
holding the price action above the 34,000, which is very good. And we are accumulating, which could give us strength for the next move up, unless we have some kind of extraordinary uh, event and Bitcoin could see new lows below the 29,600. That was the lowest point since the bull market started to go up exponentially. So that's it for today. I don't have anything else to say to you guys. Um, I, of course, I don't have, but Sarge Esterhaus, of course, he does. So I'm going to leave you with the wise words. All right, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. And that's it, guys. Let's roll and be really careful out there because the markets are really dangerous. So I will see you guys on the next one, probably tomorrow as normal. So see you guys then. Bye bye and have a nice day.